Triangle, square, or circle? Which shape of food do you like the most, and which one do you avoid like the plague? We've prepared an insane challenge with geometrically shaped food for you. Mike is so into his new game that he probably wouldn't even notice if an earthquake hit. But there is something rather like a natural disaster coming. It's Charlotte and Vicky. Hey, Mike. What do you have here? Ooh, what an interesting game. Oh, and my favorite chips. His patience is running thin. Oh, I think he's out. He removes Charlotte from the couch at the press of a button. And you're next, Vicky. Oh, no. Mike, please don't. Please. Too little, too late. You have no idea what awaits you. Mike has formed an evil plan. I do believe it involves a challenge and geometric shapes. Where am I? Charlotte is completely perplexed. Oh, and there's Vicky. What's with the dinner party vibe? The girls would have never guessed what Mike has put together. Mike, is this another challenge? Yes, my dears. Pick up your cards, please. What's on them? Oh. As you can see, a circle, a triangle, and a square. Mighty interesting. Black peppercorns, a pastry, and cookies. The gang is ready to try everything, but first they have to mix up the cards really well. Vicky is nervous, but Charlotte is rearing to go. Mike's got ground food? He was not prepared for that in the slightest. Pepper is no joke in that form. Or in any form, really. Mike must be regretting starting this challenge after all. Charlotte, you're up. She's got an enticingly sweet pastry. Vicky isn't mad at this round either. She's got some lovely crunchy cookies to feast on. Come here, my precious. Hey, Mike, what's with the face? You wanted to have some fun? Well, while the girls will enjoy sweets, you're going to have to stomach those peppercorns. Ew. All right, square, circular, and triangular food. What will be the tastiest? Mmm, Charlotte is definitely happy with her dish. She doesn't even notice that the colored filling has dyed her mouth a green-blue hue. By the smile she's got. You're a knockout, hon. Um, Charlotte, take a look at your teeth. What? Oh. Oh no! Don't tell me my whole mouth is this color. Mike can't hold back his laughter anymore. That was his little but oh so saturated surprise. Food coloring? How could you? Charlotte tries to save her once dazzling smile. We'll see who's laughing soon. You're up, mister. And this won't be easy, oh no. You're gonna have to eat more than that. Enjoy. Vicky is waiting for the explosion of flavor that's about to go off in Mike's mouth. He's grinding away at the dried pepper and finally manages to crack into them. Oh my, that both bitter and horribly spicy taste is killing him. Only a large cup of water can save him. Phew, I think he'll make it. It's cookie time. And Vicky is generously prepared to share with everyone. Thanks, Vicky. You're so nice. Mmm, wow. so yummy. Thanks. The second round is about to begin. Not all the dishes will be delicious, and some will be downright dreadful. The cards are claimed by each contestant, a circle for Charlotte, square for Mike, and Vicky pulled the triangle. Charlotte is lucky. She's looking at a mouth-watering sugary donut covered in pink frosting and topped with powdered sugar to boot. Mm, no one would say no to that. And Charlotte is thrilled. Then there's Vicky. Um, a tea bag? How do I eat this exactly? Do you have a plan yet, Vicky? That she does. A sharp line and a pair of scissors are used to cut open the tea bag. The other two are properly impressed by her approach. Vicky quickly sprinkles some right into her mouth. Well, it's really, really dry, obviously, but it's not the worst. Yeah, that's because Mike has the worst. How is he meant to down that jelly, neat mess? Mike, ever the optimist, takes a big ol' bite, but his hopes were in vain. That thing tastes even worse than it looks. How is it, Mike? Ugh, no way anyone voluntarily eats that. So gross. Charlotte thinks she got off easy this time around with her tasty breakfast treat, but looks can be deceiving, you know. There's something off with the taste, huh? It turns out, instead of powdered sugar, Vicky dusted the donut with baby powder. Let's see if Charlotte can figure out for herself what went wrong here. Mike, take a whiff. Don't you think there's something weird? Don't know what you mean. It's just a donut. <laughs> 
Who's going to come out on top now? Wow. Ooh, clearly whoever gets the circle card. That lucky winner will be served a leaning tower of cheeseburgers. Apart from that, we've got butter and chocolate-covered chips. Ew. Draw, one and all. Our guy is the winner winner chicken dinner this round. Get to it already. Charlotte scoops up a huge bite. Our brave girl wants to get this over with. What a sight. All that slippery, slimy, fatty butter. You're handling that better than I would. And now it's time for some chocolatey goodness. Mmm, uh-oh. Apparently her enjoyment was short-lived. Vicky didn't realize those were super spicy chips under there. Hey, Vicky, would you like some more of these? Charlotte, I'll get you back for that little stunt. Stop, girls. Let's settle this without anyone getting hurt. Especially since I can finally get to my stack of cheeseburgers now. Hold it. That's too easy. What kind of snack would that be without some sweet and spicy chips? All right. Here. Bon appetit. Mike bravely takes a bite, and would you look at that? I think he likes it. It is pretty hard to ruin a cheeseburger. You're sent from heaven. That guy is a bottomless pit. Impressive. Our geometric shape food challenge rumbles on. And the next items to be sampled are, drumroll please, chocolate, raw potatoes, and blue cheese. You'd be wise to fight for the card with a square on it, that's for sure. Ooh, looks like Charlotte got it. She hungrily reaches for the appropriate plate, yummy. Mike is super bummed to see that circle staring back at him. Looks like he'll be carb loading in just a minute or two. What does Charlotte have? Mike swaps the cards without anyone noticing, and everyone reveals their shape. Whoa there, Charlotte. You must be confused. Look, you've got circle. Oh no, how in the heck did that happen? Mike steals the chocolate right from under Charlotte's nose. Vicky is focused on her dish. Ew, this is super stinky. Do I have to eat it? Oh, all right then. Vicky tries to take the smallest taste possible, which is rough as is. But Mike and Charlotte aren't having it. The rules call for a full bite, so Vicky is forced to chew on a massive chunk of moldy cheese. Ugh, I hate that stuff. A round of applause for that gallant feat. You and your veg are up, Charlotte. If only the potato had at least been boiled, but raw? Well done, Charlotte. Ha ha, very funny. Mike, I think you ought to have a try, and I'll be biting into that chocolate. This was meant to be mine anyway. While Mike sorts out the cards, Vicky and Charlotte lift the lids on the dishes. Okay, no desserts this round? Bummer. Nothing but sour lemons, dry ramen, and a slice of pizza. Pizza isn't a bad option, though. Alrighty then, shall we? This time, the square food and its spice packet go to Miss Charlotte on the left. It is what it is. Now the enticing triangle of pizza will fall to Mike. He seems okay with that. And those round lemon slices are passed on over to Vicky, who doesn't mind in the least. Get ready to pucker up, Vicky. You take yours too, Charlotte. You two can suffer while I enjoy my pizza. I can only assume that sprinkling on these spices will help. Definitely can't hurt. Well, yep, it's just as rock hard as I thought it would be. And spicy too. Meh, I had my portion all the same. Vicky, all eyes are on you. And her jaws drop open after she bites right into the side of the lemon. Holy cow, she didn't even flinch. Whoa, Vicky, you are a beast. I'm not afraid of a little lemon. In fact, I love these tart things. Props to you. But I have a feeling my pizza is going to be better. Ketchup for a little added flavor and mayonnaise for my wild side. Yum. I want a piece of that pie. I wouldn't say no to it either. Mike pours on the two separate sauces and then picks up that tasty treat and sends it into his mouth. Vicky and Charlotte look on enviously. What is Vicky doing? She squeezed some sour lemon juice right onto Mike's pizza. What? Oh man, Vicky, you ruined everything. Those crazy geometric shapes continue to rule the roost, and in the final round, we're met with a frozen fish patty, a sandwich, and green peas. Which one do you think will taste the best? None of them seem like the best options. I'll find out soon enough. Charlotte picks up the card with a picture of a square. Mike has the triangle again, and Vicky, that lovely green circle. Two peas in a pod, they are. Charlotte tries to work out what to do with her smelly cut of square fish. No point in putting it off. Charlotte attempts to sink her teeth into it. Uh, not working. The patty has clearly just been pulled out of the freezer. It's too hard. Honestly, I tried, but it's impossible to take a bite. I'm not going to crack a tooth for this. Not worth it. 
While the other two laugh at Charlotte's failure, she comes up with a crazy spicy revenge plan. Mike is still giggling away, so she drips some chili sauce onto his sandwich. We'll see who laughs last, my friend. Okay, I don't think anyone saw. Meanwhile, Vicky is gathering her courage to eat her greens. Raw peas won't necessarily be nasty, don't you think? Oh no, I couldn't have been more wrong. These are gross. Thank goodness my dish is perfectly edible and likely delightful. Sandwiches are something everyone loves and happily eat. When they're not dripping with hot sauce, that is. Here, try and dose the burn in some Coke. Thank you, Vicky. Oh, that's better. Charlotte, I take it you're behind that? Oh, come on, Mike. Admit it. That was funny. Did you enjoy your time hanging out with our crazy gang? Then leave us a thumbs up and click that bell, too. Oh, and here are some bloopers for you. Remember this fun challenge and do one with your friends as well. It'll be hilarious. We guarantee it.